and crash and burn. The Nets. Wow. Huge winners. This leadership Nets are huge just winners. their what? franchise. NBA offseason winners and losers, man. Look, bro, let's see who the winners and losers are uh, this offseason, man. Let's go ahead and check it out. The draft, free agency, and trades. That's how you can improve in the offseason. That's it. So who got better and who got worse? I will explain this shirt later on, but our first loser is the Hawks. The Hawks well, loses all back? Next okay. year after they trade for DeJounte Murray. But the price was ridiculous. They struck me as a front office that panicked after sliding back from the conference finals. This team wants to build around Trey Young, but in two off seasons, they'll be paying him and DeJounte the max with four fewer draft picks. When Yo. Trey doesn't finish his career in Atlanta, this off season will be the reason why. The Pelicans wow. are a winner. After okay, all well, those Pelicans rumors winner. that Zion would go to New York, they got him on a max contract. Five years, $193 million. The next time he can be a free agent is 27 years old. The Sheesh, won okay. Because this contract protects the team. There is an injury clause and a criteria for number of games played. So if Zion gets really injured, they can just cut him and not pay him a dime. Really? Now the Pels have better championship odds than the Bulls, the Raptors, and the T-Wolves. Speaking of teams, wow. they're a loser. What? How Hold up. They got Carl Anthony Towns. I mean, no they got uh, Rudy defense. Gobert, man. They got rid of Patrick Beverly. Never mind the gigantic price of five picks. Like, that's one thing. Gobert needs wing defenders in the playoffs. My prediction, they actually win a lot of regular season games. Two years ago, the Jazz were number one in the West, led by Mitchell and Gobert. The Wolves are going to look good before the postseason, but then crash and burn. The Nets, wow. huge winners. This leadership Nets are just huge winners. their what? franchise back from their stars. After years of running the team into the ground, KD and Kyrie aren't in charge anymore. Brooklyn went head-to-head -head with Kyrie on a long-term deal and got him to opt into the one year. KD demanded a trade, but they're not going to take a bad return. Look, I know things are really chaotic in Brooklyn, but there's something satisfying about seeing the owner get so fed up, he just doesn't really care anymore. The Lakers. I don't know about that one, bro. I thought the Nets are losers, man. New. Circle August 4th on your calendar. That is the first day that LeBron James can sign an extension to stay in LA. If he doesn't, it'll show just how toxic things are. Did you just wow. know what LeBron said on the shop? Imagine being one of his teammates and hearing this. That's the culture you were talking about. Like, it's times where I wish I was like a tennis player or a golfer, where it was literally like, look in the mirror, is you versus you. Translation, See. my roster sucks. Yeah, I mean, they said the team may cool, suck. He wish he could just take control of the whole team. To be on a championship or bust team with a dysfunctional roster. The Warriors are a winner of course, overall. Yeah. Look, you can't have everything if you're a champion. That's why they chose Kovon Looney over Gary Payton. And they, they, and they have it, uh, David Losing Sinzo. Payton and Otto Porter hurts, but think about what they're getting back. James Wiseman, who look at in Summer League, and Dante DiVincenzo. Yeah, it David, so yeah, David Sinzo, for a I can't even say his name. Like that, to add yeah. somebody who will actually play postseason minutes. Overall, I think the Dubs did well, but the Suns are a loser. Why? Did we sound DeAndre Ayton? About the DeAndre Ayton mistake. It's a win to get him on four years instead of five, but it's a classic example of the owner choosing money over winning. KD wants to play there. I don't care if we just saw him got swept. Three years ago, you were the worst team in the West. How lucky can you get? I think we've already seen this version of the Suns peak. Young guys like really? Devin Booker and Mikal Bridges and Aiden are good, but they're not great. And you have to take a big swing like the Raptors did with Kawhi to win a chip. The Suns are letting their big swing go. The Rockets, wow. huge. Oh yeah, the Rockets, they got a nice offseason. Jabari Smith, Jalen Green, and Victor Wimbanyama. Here's why Houston yeah. has the best chance of anyone to get him. So they have the Nets first round swap in 2023. Let's say Brooklyn trades Katie and Kyrie and it backfires and they're horrible. And the Rockets are horrible. That's potentially two chances to have the number one pick. I know it's a long shot, but that's a win. Also, Palo Bancaro look good in the summer league but you gotta feel good having jabari smith fall to three the yeah, wizards lucky. are a loser you wizards loser what did they do over the offseason got a no trade clause this is why 
He now fully controls his future. If Bradley Beal demands a trade, forget trying to get the best return for the team. Beal can say no to anything that he doesn't want. That is player empowerment at a whole different really? level. Really? They put On that in his contract? That, this is John Wall all over again. They gave Beal the Supermax, which is toxic. Here's a list of every player to get a full Supermax. And as you can see, unless you are a face of the league type player, it's a disaster. The only non toxic player I've highlighted is Dame Lillard and his contract has actually hurt Portland. The wow. Mavericks are a winner. Of course, they got Jalen Hardy. If they had to outbid New York to get Jalen Brunson at $104 million, I'm glad they didn't or do Jayden it. Hardy. Where they really messed up was not locking Jalen Brunson in for a lower price before the season. But if they overpaid now, it would have locked in this roster for years. And let's be honest, Brunson is six foot one, not good on defense. That conference championship was the peak of this roster. Also, they're a winner because I did like the additions of both JaVel McGee and Christian Wood. The Trailblazers, Boy, huge Hardy even, loser. Not, come on, we not. expected big things this offseason. All they got was Jeremy Grant and Gary Payton. What happened to, we gutted the team to chase a star? Dame is going to walk back to a mediocre roster at best. That's they tough. They <laughs> CJ McCollum with Anthony Simons. Congratulations. They needed luck in the draft lottery, but instead they just got, you know, the seventh pick. Then they didn't even trade that. Maybe the Blazers aren't done, so I guess you could give them an incomplete, but right now they are huge losers after we expected a lot more. That's the tough. Thunder are a winner, and you know, oh, I yeah, oh, yeah. like Chip got, uh, attitude Shed during the draft. Like, please don't flash your jewelry when you haven't even played in the league yet. However, that attitude does translate on the court. The guy obviously thinks he's the best player in the world, which is the attitude you need if you're going to overcome having legs that look like this. Oh my God, also, he got them KD legs. He got them KD legs, though. Lou Dort on a five-year, $87 million deal. The 76ers are a winner. Of course. If they're ever going to win a DJ championship Tucker. in this era, it will happen in the next two years. I know that's a bold statement, but there's a chance they never get a star as good as James Harden for Joel Embiid. That's not great, but at least they got him on a team-friendly deal, and they also added P.J. Tucker and DeAnthony Melton, so Philly yeah. is set up to make a run. Here's a list of it's teams nice. that could still be winners or losers. What are the Spurs going to do with all this cap space? They could trade for a guy like Ben Simmons. <laughs> no, or thank they you. They could take a bad deal like Tobias Harris for draft picks. The Cavs signed Darius Garland, which I loved, but Colin Sexton is still out there. He's the biggest free agent on the board. The Knicks yeah. overpaid for Jalen Brunson, but... Do they pull off that Donovan Mitchell deal? And it's the same thing with the Heat. Right, but I mean, he can do something. Donovan Mitchell or Kevin Durant. We need to see what the Raptors are going to do in terms of a Kevin Durant trade and what the Jazz get back if and when they trade Donovan Mitchell. But the biggest loser last offseason was me. The Who reason what? why. Hey, bro, let me know down in the comments. Who is the biggest losers and winners of the offseason, man? Do you agree with these picks? Let me know what you would change down in the comment section. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video if you watch this right now. Appreciate you. See you in the next video, bro. Bye.